Hello. Uh, hi. How are you doing? I'm, I'm all right. All right. Are we in space? Not yet. I Well, yeah, probably, actually. Okay. Or we're near a planet or something, because this is Strike Suit Zero, where you are in space. Uh... I'm gonna go into the third mission here. All right. Which is where, where I'm at, what, weirdly enough. What kind of game is this? This is a space simulator. This is a targeting controls, target nearest, target closest, target guy in your sights, like switch types of guns. First first person? Third person or first person, okay. I believe, if you want, but it defaults to third. Uh, also, this ship can turn into a robot, but I have not gotten it to actually do that yet. Mm. You only have the Apex Fighter right now. Yeah, that might uh, that might have something to do with it. I don't know, but it's, I push the button marked transform, and it doesn't doesn't do it. It neither so. transforms nor rolls out. Exactly. Yeah. Um, or maybe it has something to do with your upgrades. I don't know. It's, it's, it doesn't seem like you actually have any real control over the upgrades. It's like you you meet objectives in the previous missions, like scoring barriers and stuff, and unlock additional weapons and stuff like that. Um, haven't unlocked any additional guns, but we've got a, a few types of missiles here, swarm missiles uh, and stuff like that. Let's actually, let's, uh, why don't we, don't we throw some swarm missiles on one of these I here? like swarm missiles. They're fun. Yeah. They always look cool. You know, they're, even show, gonna... they're even showing you what they look like. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Let's put swarm missiles over here on our third gun, our third missile slot here so we can get a, a bunch of these lock-ons. These seem to be useful. Uh, and let's launch. There's been a story uh, so far. It's, it's just kind of like... You know, there's Earth, and then there's uh, space colonies, and naturally they eventually fight. So it's, you know, evil colonists out in space. We're, we're fighting on the Earth side. The colonists seem to have some sort of weapon. Is that the Strike Suit Zero? I think we are the Strike Suit... I don't know. So what you're telling me is that they came up with a cool name for a video game. Well, I mean, you, you train... You know, you, you do eventually in, in in a previous version of the game I saw you can kind of transform at will, mm -hmm. and I think they may have, they must have changed that because now I can't. So I'm not sure if that had other stuff unlocked or something like that. But it's uh, we're also in the third mission, so it's entirely yeah, possible. Yeah, exactly. There's... Third of like 13 from from what it looks like, and you know, depending on how you do score wise, uh, you you know you unlock more stuff. So uh, using an Xbox 360 controller, to control it, you can play mouse and keyboard also. And, Stuff like that, but uh, they've they've got built-in map controls for this stuff. Uh, seems to be kind of how they're they're anticipating you will play it. Adams, he's locked on to you. Oops. Well, let's uh, fight some guys here. Uh, we got speed control, speed up, speed down. Um, when missiles come in, you can pop uh, an EMP to throw the missiles off your trail. You got your little leading target there. Yep. So I just put it in there, pull the trigger, and and do my business. Or I can switch to, to guns here, which uh, are really effective at taking down shields, uh, to take the shields down and then finish off like so. So you've got armor, you've got shield, you've got some sort of uh, like missile supply, got thruster limitations. But it, it doesn't look like it's getting too much more granular about the, the, the level of simulation beyond that. Yeah, no, like, it no. It doesn't look it's, like it's there's, not... like, specific parts that can get damaged or... Well, when you're fighting capital ships, they'll have turrets and stuff like that on them. Um, that you'll have to con concern yourself with. I just mean it's not like, oh, you know... But the... yeah, no, it's not subsystems. I'm not yeah. diverting power to shields necessarily. Sure. It's, you know, I'm clicking in the stick to activate the, the boost thrusters when I'm already speeding up. And uh, that meter is the same meter that's used when I try to knock missiles off course. Like that. Um... So, you know, if, if I'm thrusting around all over the place, I might not have enough energy to stop missiles from hitting me. Got it. And, uh, you know, I've got armor and shields. You know, when your shields get depleted, they do eventually reach out. So we've got a missile. So I'll wait for it, and I'll hit the button and evade the missile. There you go. Um, oh, so it's just like a little auto-dodge? You, you hit the button to discharge your, your EMP. And, okay. And that destroys all the missiles. But you got to kind of wait until they get close. Got it. What are these different, like, main guns that you're swapping between? I'm swapping between, like, a machine gun and the kind of main energy cannon. Uh, and the machine gun will, will chew through shields pretty well. Uh, while the, the other gun does does more kind of direct damage. I can also hold down the missile button, lock on, fire. Uh, see if he evades it or not. 
as we get in close here. Yeah, so that that hit him, took down the shields, and but he's just at the edge of our range here. So there we go. All right, let's uh, just kind of keep. I got two more fighters we got to destroy here. How do you feel about the uh, the space boxes thus far? It's all right. Uh, yeah, the the previous mission was on a planet that these guys' uh, secret weapon had been used on, so there was a fat hole in the planet, and that looked pretty good. Uh, I think overall, it's, it's, it seems like it's a pretty good looking game. Lots of effects and stuff. So you, you obviously have other fighters that are on your side, but there's no like squad tactics to worry no, about? No, haven't been ordering anyone around yet. I don't mm -hmm. know if that's something that eventually I'll command a squad or not. So far it's been, I'm using just about all the buttons on this controller. All right, destroy some more fighters up here. And freighters. Yo, it's real messed up over here. Yeah, look at all those. We're gonna get this guy. All right. Uh, I like the effects when you get hit. The yeah. little digital noise thing is, is pretty nice looking. Yep, yep. I was just about to say it's a, a good effect. Oh, God. You're getting shot. I'm getting shot. You're getting shot. Too close to the, the larger ships, I guess. I get the hell out of here. We got a missile on us, too. All right, so we took a little bit of armor damage there. That doesn't come back. Got it. Uh, but, you know, it's generally, you know, kind of it's typical dogfighting like you would expect in a game like this of, you know, speed up, slow down. You know, you can turn a lot tighter when you're uh, when you're moving slowly. So, you know, you kind of boost up to a guy, then slow down so you can, you can out-turn him uh, to, to get your firing solution. Yeah, I mean, this doesn't, this really doesn't look like this is kind of offering anything that we haven't seen before. But yeah, it's also, it's but it's just, also, we just also don't see it often enough. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I can't say that I've really kept track of the state of space simulations, but my my sense is that there's, you know, not what they used to be. As far as just a uh, you know volume of releases. Yeah. That's good looking enough. Some nice little lighting effects and camera, little optical effects. Yeah. Oh god, I'm gonna get up closer. Try these swarm missiles out. That seemed to work. Yeah. All right, we got seven more fighters and three more freighters, it looks like. Uh, so far, the mission types have had me kind of defending our capital ships from incoming torpedoes and stuff like that. Uh, but generally speaking, it's been a lot of this, a lot of dogfighting and stuff like that. He's going evasive. Oh, out of energy. So you were saying earlier that the additional or optional uh, like weapon choices that you have that's dictated by kind of your progress through the game. It looks like it. Um, you know, you are getting awarded as you complete missions. It'll give you like a bronze or a silver, or platinum stuff like that. Uh, and I believe that it, it appeared that the level of unlocks you were getting at the end of a mission, additional weapons and stuff like that, were being dictated by that stuff. And any idea of what you need to do to unlock new ships? No. Yeah. I think you're too close to that freighter. Yeah. Oh. All right. So now we've got this freighter targeted. But that's... Oh.
Let's focus on these fighters instead, that seems to be. Yeah, those freighters kind of seem like no joke. Yeah, and I have the swarm missiles, which the, the other missiles that I had an option to take are kind of better on those slower targets. Sure. So that might be that might be a problem later. Ugh, these guys just... Well, it seems like they're doing a pretty good job of, of continuing to draw you closer yeah. to the bigger ships. I'm gonna turn and get out of here. And yeah, your armor's not looking great. I finished the last mission with like basically zero armor left. Uh, and was surprised I made it out of there. Okay, so you're even getting just like a little distance countdown there on the, the missile locks. Yeah, yeah. So I'm waiting for it to get close before I pop the EMP on that stuff. Yeah. To make sure that I get them. Yeah, it seems like when they when they get you, they're just cutting they just, right through that, start, straight, that yeah, shield. Yeah, they just start ripping you up. Oh, I like the way the the deflected missiles just kind of bounce off yeah. in a random direction. This is, if this is where these guys are going to hang out, I'm going to have to get close to these ships eventually. Alright, alright. Die, 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 die. Oh, he's so close to being dead. There we go. What do we got? Okay. That guy there. So is that energy weapon just like better for chewing through shields? Uh, it's the, it's the machine guns are good for the shields. Okay. And then the the standard weapon, this weapon here, seems to do better hull damage. All right, this is our last fighter. Let's see if destroying these guys does anything to these freighters, or if these freighters are optional. They are they are marked as targets of opportunity. All right. Frigate fighter support neutralized, sir. Confirmed. A bomber team is on their way. All right. Frigate's flak turrets. We need to eliminate her defense against the torpedoes. All right, so they're still not telling you that you have to destroy these. Yeah, well, they want they want me to go after these these flak turrets on the the frigate. Yeah. Um, which I'm not seeing. Okay, there's the frigate. So let's. Just keep shooting missiles and hope for the best. Now get the hell out of here. All right, that's one of them. Yep. Once we get these turrets, the bombers should be able to, to do the rest. It's a plasma turret. Flak turret. There we go. Got to get under the ship here. Oh, that hit it. Okay, well, maybe not that far under. There you go. Now just mess it up, man. I feel like they'll take care of that. I'm kind of curious about these freighters, if there's anything I can do. Yeah, I can do some damage. All right, let's, let's switch to these swarm missiles. See if we can do anything to this freighter. 
slow up. Seems like one or two more barrages like that ought to do it. Yeah. Come around and give them a little more of the business here. And Yahtzee. That's a pretty good explosion. Yeah. Oh, good. Still gonna try See to go for it here before they jump out. I'm sorry, fold out. Got one. Ah! ah. Go on, missiles, go. Good, good on your missiles for still giving it a shot. Yeah. Boarding teams, get ready to secure the interior. Adams, Reynolds, escort the transports to the station. Oh, awesome. An escort mission. I was waiting to see when one of these would come up. It is this genre that created yeah. everyone's hatred for escort missions. Yep. Captain, do you want to tell me why we are here? Arguably one of the factors in this genre's death. Yeah, absolutely. As fuck. Escort missions. God damn. Like it's just hard looking at a at a monitor. It's hard to keep your bearings well enough to, to keep the ship you're escorting in mind. Yeah, and, and it doesn't really seem like this game is doing a terrific job of giving you like kind of any sort of situational awareness other than just what you're seeing on screen. Yeah, I mean they'll, they'll like they'll, the, the little red arrows kind of everywhere. Yeah, for you know whatever you're locked on to. All right, successfully escorted. Perhaps that is their answer <laughs> yeah. to the problem. Here's your escort mission. Yeah. Ta-da. Heavy fighters folding in. It's a scout team. Oh. Close them down fast. There'll be more coming. Heavy fighters. I don't know that I've fought heavy fighters before. He's going I feel like their kind of attempt at radio chatter of basically having my someone on my wing occasionally say he's going evasive and stuff like that is is you know, could be handled better. Yeah, that stuff's not not super great. Uh, like it's a little more for for atmosphere than it is for actual function. Yeah, it's just like, no, I'm still pretty much chasing this guy. I don't know if you're talking about the one I'm targeting or not, but... Oh, gotta get, get in a little more here. So how are you choosing how you're locking on, or who, who you're locking on to? Uh, you have two targeting. Through? Yeah, you have you have uh, you know uh, target nearest and target the guy that is in front of you. Okay. Are your your two options for that? They've just got buttons mapped to those two things. And got it. So far, it's been plenty effective. Nice. Uh, there hasn't you know there hasn't necessarily been need for a you know target mission critical thing just yet, but oh. I guess a lot of that depends on how the missions are designed. What are we looking at here? Okay. For now. Arcadia, we've encountered enemy forces on multiple decks. Hurry it up. I need that station. Ooh. So your left stick does this sort of, uh, you know, that you know, kind of turning. Your right stick is more of a traditional pitch or, and yaw. Easy. 
intercept torpedoes. You know, not. Uh, this is a mission of not insignificant length here. Yeah, the mission prior to this one was really long too. Yeah. To the point where I was like, oh, clearly that has to be all because I've taken so much damage uh, that of course they would want to give me a break. But no, it was. Let's see what these missiles do to this Corvette. Not bad, not bad. Yep. Now let's get out of here. Oh. All right, and we got a missile. Uh, I like. I think the. I, li I like the the missile. Having having the energy to avoid missiles being tied to your afterburners is is an interesting way to set it up. Rather than just giving you like, you know, four ECM pods or something like that for a full mission, just letting you use it whenever you need to use it is all right. And yeah, no, it's it, it's a good good little risk reward balance there for how you're playing. Yeah. Secured the interior of the station, sir. Good time. See, I want to be on that mission. Yeah. I would have been awesome if it just like shifted gears. All of a sudden, I'm inside the space station. Yep. It's like you're a dude and you're running around inside the space station. Like, holy shit. Yeah. It's a completely different game in here. Oh, so maybe this is where I get the strike suit. Zero. Adams, you heard her. Dock with the station and get that ship. Oh, hey, there's a torpedo over there. Oh, well. I should introduce myself. UNE scientists. Where am I going? Into to that, the, the big space station there on your right. But it hasn't, I feel like it hasn't pointed me at it yet. No, I know, but that's what all this chatter yeah. is about. She's just talking about how she's merged with AI and, and you know. Space shit. Hey, get to see the strike suit. I was getting worried. It's like I said, last time I played this, you <laughs> just busted out at will in the very first mission. So, but that was a non-final version of the game. However, the primary feature of the ship is strike mode. In this state, the ship's weapons drain fold energy to enhance damage and fire rate. This energy will eventually deplete and the strike suit will revert to its default state. Oh, okay, so we can't even necessarily do it at will. Destroy enemy ships, so build up a meter and then... Collect flux collect and flux, then... Flux, turn into strike mode. Press the A button to be a robot. And then you use flux anytime you shoot while in strike mode. So you see, we're, we're building up some flux here. Okay, so you don't have EMP in strike mode, yeah, but you can dash. Here we go. You're a robot! Kind of janky, twitchy robot. So I can go up and down. I'm not gonna lie, that was a little underwhelming. Yeah, that's, uh, hmm. I'm with you, man. That was a little. Just and this, hey, you got the robot suit music is a little <laughs> awkward also. I feel like it's 1995 and I'm going to a rave. 
<laughs> it fits with the genre of the game. Let's go you know, do, it's Colony Wars esque. Let's go do some candy flipping. Okay, well that's. Okay, Adams. Let's see what that ship can do. Well, it can destroy this wreckage pretty well, sir. Yeah. So you. You're... Some of that movement on the the ship when it's in robot form just it kind of looks unfinished. Yeah. But you do have these sick new missiles. Automatically turn to your current target. Got it. So if you hold little, it. Little lock on it'll action. Auto track to the next target. Okay. Well. You know I haven't really needed a robot suit in any of these missions so far, so I'm not really sure that. I'm sorry, I'm over here destroying this wreckage. You'll need to give me a moment. Let's get up on this thing and turn into a robot. What do you say? I say go for it. Are you locked on? Or no, that only will start once you're a robot man, right? Okay, so you're... If you're successfully destroying stuff in robot mode, you're refilling that little flux meter there. Yeah, yeah. So you can kind of just, like, keep a combo going. Right. And stay robotic for longer. You're not having to like uh, go and collect the the flux or anything. It's just it's, no, you're it's, blowing it up the ships up and it happens. You stuff. It's, you know. it's not. Well, that's bad. Well, maybe if you didn't uh, have me destroying all that wreckage so far away, uh, maybe you know that wouldn't. Have, okay, so at least there's happen. at least there's some checkpointing here. I was going to ask. See where we end up. That makes sense. Right here. Smoke these frigates, keep these torpedoes from. Yeah! That did like zero damage to this target. Oh no, it's on the turret now, okay. I don't know about that robot mode. I feel like it didn't really necessarily I th I do think, much. I, th I think he ended up just blowing up a bunch of the, uh, the torpedoes? torpedoes that were yeah. coming out rather than hitting the ship. I don't know. You got full flux. So might as well try it again. All right. Yeah, it seems like I'm just getting the turrets on these things. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know. Well, I need to destroy the Corvettes, not the frigates, I guess. So maybe that's part of the problem. But where are the... But which ones of these are Corvettes, you know? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Seems like it'd be better about telling you what is out there in space and letting you target kind of the, the critical mission things, because as soon as they start launching torpedoes, it's hard to get a lock on anything that's not a torpedo. Right, and also the fact uh, that it's, like, discreetly letting you target, like, turrets and stuff on those Corvettes. I mean, that's key for those capital ships, you know, that's, that's part of the strategy of taking them down. Right, but, but, but if your aim is, I just want to attack, like, the whole of the ship. Right. It seemed like that was tough. The, all those missiles I just shot should have done that, but anyway... Uh, I'm glad we at least got to see uh, the robot mode. Yeah. Um, 
the first few missions have been all right, uh, but I, I gotta say, robot mode not doing it for robot you here. Robot mode not necessarily doing it for me. Mm. Um, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what develops, I guess. But uh, that a strike suits zero. It is available this week on Steam for the personal computer. Fantastic. So thanks, Ryan, for coming and looking at it with me. Thanks for being a robot. Anytime. It's what I'm best at. Be a robot now. All right. 